at this point, I think Cyberpunk 2077 is the fire festival of video games. Someone needs to get Ja Rule on the phone. All right, so here we are. It's two days after the release of Cyberpunk. I've put in approximately 21 hours or 22 hours into the game so far and uh still only in act one all the reviewers they said they beat the story in 20 hours you were rushing huh you but you were skipping dialogue huh regardless i've been playing for 20 hours on my playstation 5. i have now reached the game crashing 30 times hard crashing 30 times I started off every two hours then it went to every 30 minutes and then it's settled about every hour the game crashes and yes this is even after their 1.02 hotfix or 1.04 whatever it was the hotfix that they released yesterday for PlayStation 4 versions of the game still did not help with the crashing on top of the miscellaneous, you know, visual bugs, objects that float, or objects that stay in the environment, and yada, 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 all this sort of stuff. I really like this game. I really do. The actual gameplay in and of itself, the story, the characters, the environment, I really like this game. I just hate how poorly optimized it is is the best way to describe it. it it truly feels like they spent so much time like it feels like 99 percent of their time was spent saying oh that'd be a good idea to put in the game well that'd be a cool mechanic or this would be cool or that would be cool uh and then in 2019 the investors came knocking and then all of a sudden uh they were like okay we need to start pushing towards a release date and they're like oh we should probably check if any of these things work well guess what most of them don't uh this has just been ridiculous to watch this rollout and watch them flagrantly try to hide the performance on consoles is absolutely ridiculous the fact that we had to wait this long and to get digital foundry to break down just how bad the performance is i mean 15 frames per second on base ps4s uh terrible performance on the playstation 4 pro can't keep a lock 30 frames most of the time on top of the crashes that a lot of players are experiencing just like me and a lot of my viewers are experiencing as well um yeah the playstation 5 version it doesn't stick the 60 frames it has so many texture pop-ins the resolution is messed up with the TA, so the game looks blurry most of the time. Even if you take off film grain and, and cinematic abrasion and, and motion blur, the game still looks blurry because it almost does that same visual effect that uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse does, where it's like, it doesn't quite make an image actually blurred out if something's in a distance or not in focus it just makes things kind of look pixelated more so or dotted up uh and it's just a, a terrible looking uh game at certain points because of this blurriness issue uh you have with the xbox series s uh, that is apparently one of the better ways you can play it where it stays at least stable at 30 frames per second at around the 900p range and then the xbox series x the performance mode is not as good as the uh the quality mode because the quality mode will get you a little bit better detail and make things look less blurry and it runs at a, at a, a solid 30 frames per second but the 60 fps mode is not as good as playstation 5 that's absolutely insane that's absolutely insane that this game launched like this and i am so tired of hearing the excuses there's so many excuses for this game. Oh, what? You, you, did you remember The Witcher 3 at launch? <laughs> that game was bad, too. It's not a good excuse. Triple A games nowadays. That's how they work now. They're bad. Not all of them. Mm. I didn't even encounter a single bug when I played The Last of Us Part 2. 
Ghost of, Tsush Ghost of Tsushima got even better when I started playing on the PlayStation 5. It runs at 60 FPS and the game is gorgeous and I have very minimal visual bugs like pop-ins. Assassin's Creed Valhalla had some few issues, but after one patch, they resolved all the visual glitches and screen tearing that I had. What's your point? You can have a big game and you can have minimal issues with it. And there's a difference between minimal issues and then something as catastrophic as the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 and knowingly, knowingly hiding this from your consumers so you can grab their money and dip on out. They've already made back their money for the cost of the production of the game with their 8 million copies sold. They don't care anymore. They don't care. Investors, they don't care. They push these developers. They've been crunching them for a year and a half, even though Cyberpunk fans want to pretend like crunch isn't a real thing. And, oh, you should be grateful to work six days a week and not see your family and have this stupid token system that creates, a, you know, infighting and creates classism and, 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 and elitism inside of, you know, your own company. You know, people should be grateful to have that type of work environment. But on top of that... <laughs> All these investors are, and, and Adam, whatever, how you pronounce his last name, the game director, or leader, or whatever, they're like, oh, we claim responsibility for the launch of this game and how buggy it is. We claim responsibility. Oh, oh, the horror, the horror. Now you claim responsibility. I'm glad, I'm glad you did. You weren't claiming responsibility when you weren't giving out, you know, console codes because you knew what was coming. You were battening down the hatches covered in money it's fantastic absolutely fantastic so congratulations you release a, a shoddy you know <laughs> nintendo switch level of a port of your video game onto consoles and in the in you know you got these sub bases of people who continue to try to defend the game and it's absolutely ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous the things that people come up with between the, you know, oh, you know, gamers, you know, games are bucky. You remember The Witcher 3? What happened to coming when it's ready? What happened to the game being an RPG? Well, they changed that in the marketing material. I mean, the marketing material, it's basically false advertising to a certain degree. Or the people who are like, oh, well, you know, I barely got any issues with the game, so it's not a problem for me. You're eating at a restaurant and your food's are really good. I mean, really good. I mean, that food is delicious, right? But everyone else at the, at the table and the tables next to you, all of a sudden they start finding hairs in their food and, uh, and tacks and, and, and metal shavings inside of their food at the restaurant. Let me ask you a question. Would you really be satisfied with the restaurant? Would you feel comfortable with what they're putting out? I wouldn't. I wouldn't at all. The release of this game is an absolute mess. It's an absolute mess. And I, I don't recommend buying this game. I cannot, like, I've had so many people asking me over this weekend, yo, should I, yo, should I, should I get the Cyberpunk? I seem to have some issues, but should I buy it? No, don't buy Cyberpunk. Even if you have a high-end PC, there's still a bunch of issues on PC, which people like to forget. And people want to use this excuse of, well, you need to upgrade your rig, or you need to upgrade your, your, your console. Well, I'm playing on the latest console, and guess what? Still runs terribly, still crashes all the time. I just cannot in good conscience recommend that you spend $65 on this video game that is clearly unfinished, and that the developers knew were unfinished, and yet still chose to not delay it and chose to sell the game. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't recommend that you do that. Like, there's elements of the game that I really, really enjoy. And trust me, without all these issues, I mean, we're looking at probably like, you know, seven and a half, eight experience thus far that I've experienced. You know, I haven't beat the game, but I, I thoroughly am enjoying a lot of the elements in it even though i have a lot of gripes with a lot of other elements of the game but i'll save that for an actual review when i'm actually reviewing the contents of the game and i'm just talking about the optimization the performance uh but this is just terrible this is just terrible it's inexcusable it's indefensible as as much as people want to pretend like it is it's not this is this is shameful 
and this should not be a well this is their mo not when they've built this up to be so different to be no this is the best quality game that they could possibly make that what when, when we delay the game but what do you want when the game comes out do you want an eight or a nine or do you want a ten you know quotes like that that try to reassure the fan base that we were getting the best possible quality game imaginable uh, but it was all lies it was all lies and stop using the excuse of all oh, those seven year old hardware when the game was announced playstation 4 and xbox one weren't even out yet next gen wasn't even out yet they weren't the game can't even run at a stable frame rate i'm not asking for the game to look like a painting of mona lisa on last gen no it should just run well run decent enough for people to actually be able to enjoy the experience and the story to actually enjoy the game that they paid for it's ridiculous and, and, and sony needs to be giving refunds i know they are very stingy now but they need to be giving refunds and let me tell you a pro tip if you bought it on digital and they have their rule about uh you know you go to their little chat bot on their website you can still get a refund you can still get a refund i got a refund on black ops cold war because that game was a buggy mess aim assist didn't work game kept crashing all the time yada 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 uh, so in their product policy it says that if you've downloaded a game onto your console that you cannot get a refund unless the product is faulty ladies and gentlemen this product is faulty you you all you have to do is actually call them which is <laughs> good luck because you're gonna be waiting for about half an hour uh but you call them talk to a representative make sure you've reported all of your crashes you detail them explain the detail the experiences that you've had on console and that you would like a refund and that's the way to do it you just give them a call granted some of you might get rejected because they're probably getting them at high call volumes but you just need to say all the right words the product is faulty this is your policy and the game is not performing well it is unplayable it's a mess and that's the way it needs to be this is ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous this is beyond you know the the, the standard AAA experience where things are going to be a little baggy no this is bad this is really really bad and we've been lied to as consumers and i just hope that at the end of this that all their goodwill is gone i hope all of cd project red's goodwill is gone and that the community just treats them like they do ea or anywhere else because they're no different just because they made one game that you really 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 like that doesn't make them any different than any other company they're still doing scummy review practices they're still uh, treating their workers terribly it's the same thing they're still lying to us with the quality of their product they're no different they're not the savior the jesus of video games they're just another developer they just happen to really make games that you enjoy and that's just what it is and that's just what it is so yeah i i can't recommend that you buy the game even on, on most pcs or i would just wait a while uh when the game is actually playable i don't even feel like playing this game on stream anymore i've played at least <clears throat> probably close to 15 now no about 13 14 hours of it on stream or something like that uh but i i don't i don't, I don't feel like streaming this game anymore because when i'm playing it it literally crashes between every 30 minutes to an hour and that's not fun or engaging for me as an entertainer and for you all as an audience so i just don't feel like streaming the game i'm just trying to plow through my experience and plow through all the bugs so i can finish the game and give a comprehensive overview for what it actually is by siphoning through all the feces that is bugs and glitches and crashes and performance issues that's it that's it that's all i got to say twitch.tv forward slash geek speak gaming thank you all for watching like share this video share this video please let people know they should not buy this game subscribe if you enjoyed this video if you're a cd 
Project Red fanboy who's inevitably going to hit the dislike as soon as they see the title. Go ahead and hit that dislike button. I got you, homie. Uh, but also, if you do choose to subscribe, make sure you set the bell icon to all so you always get notified of when I post a video. That's it. Don't forget to get geeky and, uh, yeah, fooling his money are easily separate.